follow me on this, fellas. You get down on your knee, you say, will you marry me? Boom, from that minute on, she's got control. The next 12, 18 months are all her. She's picking out the gowns, the flowers, your tuxedo, what you're wearing. You go right along with it. You don't care because it's her shop. So if you're 18 months into it, boom, you go off on the honeymoon, which I might add, she picked that one out. You just agree to it all. You come back, you get a house. Who's picking that out? She is. Who's picking out the curtain and the sconches? I didn't even know what a sconch was before I got married. Did you? It's sconce. Right. Whatever. <laughs> So then that's another 18 months to get in the house and this, and then the kid comes along, right? The pregnancy, another 12, five years into it, you finally stand up for yourself and she goes, who are you? I don't even know who you are. You know why? Because you don't have balls for the last five years. That's all I'm saying. We have to adapt. For what? Adapt. Like, on the animal planet. We have to find a way to fit ourselves back into society. Society of what? Amazons? It's just a world where a man can find his place again. And where's this place? Well, that is the question. So what's the answer? The answer's within each of us. What? I, uh, don't, don't start that new age crap. No, really. We have to get back to what we need. Are you saying this is it? For now? You have to be happy with what you are. What are we? I mean, what's left of a man after you scrape out the insides? No, we're hybrids. Hybrids? Like a Prius? Bad. Uh, like a bull? No, like a cyborg. Oh, like Steve Austin. A man barely alive. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. Better, faster, stronger. Does every analogy for 40-year-old men come from 70s TV shows? 